Hey CTC465, well next week we'll be down to our final four, but here we still have, uh, you know, 11, we're on week 11, and we've still got a few weeks left to go, so um, where are we? We're on hy hydraulics and hydrologic systems, so last week if we were there with Dr. Sanders, we went over a couple uh, good things with energy equations and that sort of thing with fluids, and hopefully that was helpful, um, but this week we're going to talk more about hyd hydraulics and hydrologic systems. This is 8 to 12 questions on the exam, so everybody should have had a class in this, and it's something where I hope that you're able to get these questions and get them down. So hydrology, hydraulics, even groundwater is covered. This is chapters 10 to 12, so unlike, you know, structures and, and steel design, which are like 10 chapters, this is, this is three chapters, but it covers a, a significant portion of the test. So uh, this is something you definitely want to look at, definitely want to study. Uh, and and get into so hydraulics is you know all sorts of things I, when I think of hydraulics I think of uh, mechanical equipment like this where you're pumping you know hydraulic fluid uh, to move things you know but hydraulics covers all, all sorts of things you take a look at the chapters and you'll, you'll see um, hydraulics as well uh, this is a Hackrass model looking at the river hydraulics, right? So uh, flow in rivers, that sort of thing. Uh, or hydraulics over a spillway of a dam, you know, how much water is going over that dam, uh, weir equations, that sort of thing. So all sorts of different things with hydraulics that you can take a look at. Hydrologic systems, uh, everything from the, the rain cycle to how things are, where, you know, how much water um, actually gets down to the ocean, what's the time of concentration, all those sorts of things, curve numbers. Um, those sorts of things. So hydrologic systems, hopefully something you've taken, you know, taken a course on, hopefully something you've learned something about. But this is what I find interesting, actually, the hydrologic systems. Uh, this is, this comes from Nadia Popovich uh, from, uh, and Claire O'Neill, but this was in your, the New York Times, and this is just a quote, but it says, devastating storms like Harvey, so this is going back a few years, um, are, are still relatively rare, but the probability of them has increased substantially. So, you know, jumping down here, what used to be a 500 year event has become a 50 or 100 year event. We're getting more floods more frequently and it's something that it's gonna it's it's going to need civil engineers to design to figure out how to make you know our systems more stable um, how to make uh, our systems better adapted for floods and that sort of thing. So that will that will produce jobs over the next uh, you, you know, over your career as an engineer. So definitely something you want to look at, whether it's doing stormwater monitoring or designing stormwater plans, something that uh, you can definitely uh, find work in. So, and, you know, it's something that interests me, but hopefully it interests you as well. So we're almost done here, but I, I guess I found one joke that I figured I'd throw out here. So this is from Made for School by LWR. So when did Mrs. Claus, what did Mrs. Claus say when she looked at the sky? Well, Looks like rain, dear. Okay, so this week again, office hours, CTC 465, Thursday 4-4, 1230 to 1-30, and checklist for this week, review the handbook, uh, review the, the manuals, chapter 10 to 12, and take a quiz. So that's it. Hopefully we'll see you at office hours, and uh, you're having a good week. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.